Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to connect to our RDS instance in the private subnet using MySQL Workbench and an EC2 instance as a bastion host. Then once we have connected to our RDS instance, we are going to import our SQL file into our database. To start, the first thing you need to do is install MySQL Workbench on your computer. I have installed MySQL Workbench on my computer and it looks like this. I will also leave a link in the description on how to install it. The next thing we are going to do is create a key pair. So select services, select EC2 on that compute. On your EC2 dashboard, scroll all the way down and select key pairs. We are going to create a new key pair, select create key pair and give it a name. Then make sure you select the PEM file format, then click create key pair. We have created that key pair and it has also downloaded into our downloads folder. Now the next thing we need to do is launch an EC2 instance in the public subnet. I'm going to select my EC2 dashboard, launch an instance. It is going to be Amazon Linux 2 AMI, select it. It is going to be a T2 micro instance type. Select next. On that network, select the drop down and put it in your VPC. On that subnet, select the drop down and make sure you are putting it in a public subnet. So I'm going to put it in my public subnet one. Click next to add storage. We'll leave the storage as default. Click next to add tag. I'm going to give it a name and I'll call it Bastion Host. Then click next to configure security group. We are going to create a new security group. I'll call it SSH security group. And under your root type, it is going to be SSH TCP on port 22. But for source, select this drop down and change it to my IP. And it should change that to your IP address. Click next to review and launch review everything and launch your instance. Then choose an existing key pair. Make sure you select the pen file you previously created, then acknowledge and launch instances. Then I'm going to select view instances and it is now launching my EC2 instance. I'm going to select it and copy the private IPv4 address. I'm going to copy it. Once you've copied this IP address, Let's go to our RDS instance to update the security group. I'm going to open it in a new tab. I'm going to select services and select RDS on that database. I currently have one RDS running in the private subnet. I'm going to select my DB instances and I'm going to select my RDS here by clicking on the name. Then on that security, we are going to select our security group, select it. Then select inbound rules. Click edit inbound rules. And we are going to add a new rule. The rule is going to be custom TCP. And the port is going to be 3306. And on that source, we are going to paste the IP address we copied previously. Paste the IP address and make sure you select this drop down of that IP address slash 32. Once you've entered this information, click save rules. We have updated the security group of our RDS instance and you can see it here. Now we are ready to connect to our RDS instance in the private subnet. To do that, I'm going to open my SQL workbench again and I'm going to select database and I'm going to select connect to database. On that connection method, select the drop down and select standard TCP slash IP over SSH. And in here, we are going to enter some information. For SSH host name, that will be the DNS name of our EC2 instance. I'm going to go back to my management console. I'll close this. And for my EC2 instance, I'm going to copy the DNS right here. Copy that. 
and let me refresh to make sure my ec2 instance is up and running so good okay i'll select it and copy the dns name come back to your mysql workbench paste the dns name in here for ssh username for linux machine it is always ec2 iphone user for ssh key file we are going to load our pen file in here so i'm going to select these three dots and i'm going to go to my downloads folder select my key pair open it to load it in there and for my sql host name this will be the endpoint of our rds instance go back to the management console i'm going to open a new tab and select rds on that database and go to my rds instance under connectivity and security under endpoint copy this go back to my sql workbench and paste it under the host name the port is going to be 3306 for username go back to the rds console select configurations tab you should see your username here i'm going to copy it and come back and paste it in there and on that password select store in vault and enter the password of your database in here once you've entered your database password click ok and click ok again and it is going to give you this message just click ok and there you go we have now connect to our rds instance in the private subnet under the schemas tab you should see your database in there and currently under tables we don't have anything in there now i want to import my sql file into this database to do that i'm going to select the administration tab then i'm going to select data import then i'm going to select import from self-contained file i'll browse to my file location And I'll click open. Then under default target schema, select this drop down and select the database name. Then select start import. I'll give it some time to import my data. And there you go, it has now successfully imported my data. If I go to the schemas tab again, then select the drop down for my database and you can just click refresh up here and when i select this drop down on that tables now you can see all these data is in there and this is how you connect to an rds instance in the private subnet and import data into your database thank you and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye